Let's launch. What are you? Are you our savior? Everything is run amok here, see? Our island has been invaded by the six Piraka. Vicious creatures they are. But they've gotten hold of the Mask of Life. That mask has strange powers and in the wrong hand. It's transformed all the island's inhabitants into all kinds of strange, spiteful creatures. They're everywhere. The Piraka control them. You must track down and defeat the Piraka to return Boyanui to peace. Use the powers that the masks will grant you to save Boyanui. Hello. Uh, so, I finished the DS version of Bionicle Heroes rather recently. And I just felt like right now, continuing on to the uh, PC version. Which yeah, I believe is um, very similar, if not identical, in the actual content with the uh, Xbox and the PlayStation versions, and also the Wii version. Okay, I had to press escape. So, wh so what do I know about this? Unlike the GBA port and the DS port, both of which I've seen like a couple minutes of footage of each of them um, sometime in the past. Um, and so I, most of the content of those games were new to me. A few years ago, um, I've watched Let's Play footage of the entirety just, um, the entirety of this game, from start to finish. Now, it's been years, and I obviously don't have the, all of it memorized, but I have seen all of it. So you could say I'm very familiar with it. It's just that I have not personally um, be, been behind the reins of the controls. Now... My understanding of the community's general opinion of this is, is that it's a, a very easy game. Now, I haven't got, gotten behind the reins of this game and been insulted by that opinion. But that's what the Bionicle community says about it, is that it's very, very easy. So if I struggle with this, I'm going to feel very embarrassed. The second is that... It is the way that it portrays the Paraka as characters is very disrespectful to them. And those are the two kind of main complaints about Bionicle Heroes. And of course, and yeah, that's about it. And uh, of course, 
I don't, I can already form an opinion on that because I have seen footage of how it treats the Paraka and how disrespectfully it treats them. And I can say, yes, indeed, it's, it try, it's not very respectful of what Greg Farshti, for example, wrote for them in, the no, in say, the novels, right? It acts, makes them more of this really cheesy slapstick comedy sort of thing as opposed to the mafia type people that they actually were in the more mature bionicle media. So sort of t some technical stuff. I noticed it started with this pre-rendered cutscene. It's a lower resolution than the actual game. Um, it kind of reminds me of Crisis. I haven't seen a lot of footage of Crisis's gameplay. I might play it myself sometime just because of the whole meme of it. Um, but it kind of reminds me of Crisis. Another thing is that... So with Bionicle, the game... Um, I forgot, I don't know what exactly this resolution is, but it co shows up so much in my life I should memorize it. That square resolution of, you know, monitors from the 2000s, not the 2010s, like the 2000s. Um, it's designed to run with, with all those square monitors. And uh, Bionicle, the game, how it worked is if you were to run it on like a widescreen, like a 1080p, is it would actually stretch it corner to corner. And so it filled the entire screen and the aspect ratio would be all off. So you had to actually go into the executable for the game and modify the executable. So you say it would run native, it would run on the, whatever your screen resolution was without messing up the aspect ratio. Now, I noticed Bionicle Heroes seems to want to run on the same resolution, but it does upscale retaining the aspect ratio. So it does just, gives you a square, but it doesn't stretch it to fill your whole screen. Instead, it just gives you black bands on the left and right. Um, so a little bit more easier to work with, and that's why there's instructions on the Biomedia project about how to modify Bionicle the game so that it runs widescreen, whereas you don't have those kind of instructions for Bionicle Heroes. But it's never going to render at like 4K or whatever. So what you're seeing here is I'm playing it on a 4K monitor because I use a 4K monitor, use a 4K monitor for other things, but just naively upscaling to 4K. And then for the video, I'm naively down, I'm well, by cubic, which is a naive type of downsample to 1080p, um, both of which are an upsample. So um, it doesn't run on that resolution natively. It's a bunch of naive sampling. And that extra two steps of sampling might introduce some blurring into the video or into the footage. For which I apologize. That's just how I roll, um, as I have some unnecessary blurring sometimes. But it does run on Windows 10 just fine, it appears, so I don't have any sort of Windows compatibility issues. Cool. Um, I guess I'll jump right in. Yes, I want to confirm I'm going to start a fresh new game, thank you. You want me to play the game or not? Cool, you save nothing. Okay, thanks. So, it said in the manual that this would use arrow keys, which really upsets me because I'm a WASD guy. No. Oh, is there like this input lag thing where it like retains? Okay. I have a big mess on my desk, time to clean it up. So I'll tell you why I like WASD better than arrow keys. That is because the WASD is on the right, the left, no, the far left side of my keyboard, and I like to have my right hand on the mouse. Right, I'm not a lefty. So if I put my mouse and my keyboard kind of near each other, which is what you'd have to do on a smaller desk, then that allows me to kind of have my hands kind of in a more natural position further apart. If I'm on a small desk and my space is confined, then if I have to use arrow keys, my right and left hands are like squished together. Um, so I'm not, I am not don't have that issue right now. I have a pretty big desk. It's just that I had some stuff piled up on it, which I'm going to clean off right now. Um... And that way, by cleaning stuff off my desk, I can move my keyboard really far to the left. 
and by moving my keyboard really far to the left, I can get my hands further apart by using air when using arrow keys. That's just really frustrating though. Um, make WASD an option always. Um, don't make me have to move my mic around and stuff. Don't make me have to like move my keyboard way off to the left in order to get my hands in a more natural position. Right. I don't like tight hands. Okay, so let's go to the shop here. Man, what's the frame rate on this? Let me uh, let me pull up Alt R and see what the heck's going on with this. Oh my goodness, it's up. The overlay's upscaled. Why am I running at like 11 f 14 FPS? What in the world? Oh, this frame rate is trash. Okay, I don't understand why my frame rate is trash. What in the world? Okay, so. Yeah, my frame rate is borked. And it's gotta be some sort of weird driver issue or monitor scaling issue because this is an old game. I should be able to run this on like a 1080 or like even a 1060 and the frame rate not be in the 20s or teens of FPS. I don't want to say what GPU I'm running on because I say that too much. <laughs> okay, well, I'll try to go to the shop with my, uh, enter, with my borked frame rate, and I might want to fix that for next recording if that gives me problems during the levels because what in the world? So I don't have any money to start with here, so, um, 50% discount is 150,000, and I'll probably buy that first before anything else. Um, and so I'll try to get that mini in the first level I do here. Canister locator, bonus level three, bonus level two, bonus level one. Paraka Seesaw, 125,000. Paraka Penelo, these are probably like in the Paraka Playground, right? Which I don't care about. Yeah, Fraka Playground stuff. Okay. Hints. Yeah, and here we can upgrade in increments the armor, the uh, weapon, and once we, and a bunch of, after a whole bunch of increments, we finally get the, uh, which you can kind of pay into in installments, we can get the special ability. Yeah, so I guess the plan is going to be, I get the 50% discount. And once I get that, I'm going to upgrade New Peru's weapon to max. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, wow, I noticed this weapon is more expensive to upgrade than the others. I wonder why. Okay. So I can only play as Jawler here, right? So what's this? T-R-O-P-P-A-Y. Okay, so trophy chamber. Trophy chamber. Let's get all these pickups. Yeah, anybody in the comments can, if they can tell me. Oh, locked. Why my frame rate is dog poop? Let me know and tell me what software thing I need to fix. Locked. Locked. Okay, let's go into a level, I guess. Is this where I go for levels? Oh, it's Praka Playground. Where, uh, here's, what's this? Um, Voya Nui. P-O-R, por portal. Voya Nui portal. Zone select. A Vasox coastline. 
Wait, why is my frame rate not as bad anymore? Is that because this room is smaller? I mean, it's still pretty bad, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna turn the overlay off and just ignore it here. Okay, here we go. Proca Bluff. There might be some resolution scare scaling here th thing here that's really causing problems. Okay. So we're starting off as Kongu, which... Oh, we have Kongu or Holly. Well, Holly's like the continuous beam kind of weapon, right? Kongu's more like a shotgun type thing. What is it? What did it say? You gotta give me time to read it. You need brown Tohihuki to trigger constractions. Okay. So these are axe and stuff. Apparently these things will shoot at me at some point. Yeah, I lost some health. Okay, so I guess, like, Kongu's weapon has this, like, range nature where it's really weak at long ranges. Yeah, at short range, I'm blasting the, these things into oblivion. At long range, I'm not doing much. Behind me. There we go. Well, yeah, okay. Got health. Okay. Got Huki. Uh, how do I do this control? No. Well... Press and hold gears to trigger this construction. What? Ah. Left, right click is what you hit. Okay, let's try Huki's weapon. I, I, I would imagine though that it's kind of bad. <laughs> is there a mask over here? Okay. Does that give me the bridge? Or do I have to do more things? Or whatever. Oh, I have to do this now. Okay, so there's like a time delay. I can't blow it up. For okay. I'm going to switch to uh, Kongu for now. So scroll wheel is a nice control for switching Toa. I like that. What do I do with Yuki here? Wait. Oh. Okay.
Oh, I missed those pickups because I didn't realize that they were dropped from a destruction. Okay, let's go to a little bit more focus to this. There's so much stuff to destroy in here. Like, really? Like... Oh, I can destroy it after I build it? And get more out of it? Oh. Okay. Yes, I am aware of what's happening on the gauge at the top of my screen. Oh! There's more? More Huki constructions? My frame rate's still terrible. <laughs> My input lag is still terrible. Okay, let's look for more things to destroy here. Oh, I can destroy it after I open it? Sweet. Is that all of it? No, I see a ball over here. I see some. Yeah. Gotta destroy you. I see you, bug. Okay. Ah. Nope. Another boulder. Okay, I'm gonna be content there. So let's go switch to Huki and Huki Construct. Huki Construct. Oh, I have to keep holding it? All the pieces. More gears. Really low poly gears. Okay, I'm invincible now because I'm in hero mode, right? So I don't have to worry about these things damaging me. So I can kind of, like, let them go a bit. Focus on collecting all the, the pickups. Okay. I'm sick right now, so if you hear any, like, nose sniffing on the recording, yeah, sorry. I'll try not to. I'll just let the, sn the snot drip down onto my table. <laughs> on my desk. Got all in here. Up, oh, there's another beam.
Do brew time. I gotta switch to Matoro. Can't destroy it afterwards? Okay. Oh, I have to deal with you. Well, like in hero mode, so I don't really think about the enemies too much, but they do actually attack you when there's like recoil. I have like single digit frame rates right now. Disaster. Poverty frame rates. Is fair Hyuki in case like my Hyuki died or you know you know which actually that restores the health of all the Toa you have left too as aside from restoring your Hyuki that's why this game is so easy the masks not only give you that character back they restore the health of every other character oh do I need a oh I need Jawler Jawler's special ability to destroy that Okay, they cleared out this room. Yeah, I presume if you don't have hero mode by now, they just kind of keep spawning enemies. It like spawns Vizorak until you get enough pieces to get into hero mode. 
But right now, since I already have hero mode, it's not doing that. Oh, more stuff to destroy that I passed over the first time by accident. Also destroy the flower too. I forgot you could destroy it after you build it. The balance between creation and destruction. Okay. Ready to go. all over this. Okay. Now Isuki construct this. Get all the pieces. Lying around. And I get on it, of course. Now, I, I might want to be as Holly. I noticed that other less people who played this like to be as Holly in this part. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but... Makes sense to be Holly as opposed to Yuki, because Yuki would make sense to me too. Is there another construction? Yeah, okay, there's another hero mode that I need here. Okay, let's switch to something more useful here. Yuki. Or maybe. Whoops. Well, Toro was good in the DS version. Wait. Uh, I was about to run out of health and then I just got hero mode. What in the world? I literally just got hero mode just... Oh my goodness. That switched me to Holly. Let's try the new Peru spamming. Oh, that's too slow a fiery rate for me, unfortunately. Yeah, I like using Kongu more practically. Any more enemies? I don't see any more red on my radar. Okay. You need a special ability for that. Man, there's a lot of spare masks here. Okay, let's lose the Jawler. Let's get a... Uh... Can't destroy that, can I? Try to get all these, like, destroyables here. Uh, right, left click, right click.
Okay, I got it all, it appears. Here's my trigger. Which way am I supposed to look at it? There we go. Okay, so I need I need uh, Vazok to open that. Hopefully, Vazon opens that too. If you hear a wind howling noise, that is actually not the game so soundtrack. That is, um, from the real world. I think Jolly would probably be useful for bosses, right? I gotta guess. Okay, checkpoint. Whatever that means. money I can get because I want that 50% discount. Missile you. Yeah. Get just totally wrecked. I don't know how to get over there.
stays on. Okay, so I need Matoros for that. A jump in this game? No. Oh, I see. So you get over there with Cope. You get over there with Freeze. And then afterwards, you could use Kongu's jump to get over there. It gives you Kongu's mask immediately after you use Kongu's jump. So it makes, you know, the mask kind of pointless because you know you have Kongu because you just used his jump. If I can make sense of that. Or did I do a pass a one-way thing or something? I don't understand what's going on with that part of the map. I'm confused. No, this goes, that, that's the Matoro part. Okay, so you get there some other way. Okay, I... Probably using the Paraka, the, the, the Vazok construction. Okay, let's do some new Peru here. Is this a glitch? What in the world? Did I break the game? Oh shucks. Resume. Great, I hit a bug. Hit a wiggle. Oh, okay. This is a bug, it's just, I didn't know how to do that. Okay, I got everything up here, right? Gotta be new crew. Oh, okay. That was fine once I understood the controls of it. Why would you let me? Oh, I'm still standing in the water. Okay. Now I can switch to Jala. I don't want to kill you when you're already over there, because then I can't. Oh, I'll do it. Anyway. I'll do it. Then I'll switch, have to switch to Holly to get your stuff. No.
My frame rate actually gets good when I'm in like a small cave for some reason. Cave for confined spaces. Now to get the money. Yeah, my frame rate's actually good now. Oh, uh, they go back into that big cave, that big place that he gets bad again. Okay, so So I can't back up past this? Okay, cool. Making sure. back. Whoops. Thrust. Can you brew? Once I get to hero mode, everything comes back. So, you lose health, but. Okay, switch to Matoro. Get health, health things. Okay. Wow, enough health I didn't have to die there. Switch to New Peru. Whoops. Switch back to a Toro by accident. Okay. Got hero mode. Now I'm like safe. I actually don't get all my health back when I go into hero mode. That's interesting. My money counter stopped working when I went into hero mode too. <laughs>
Not when I went to Hero Mode. When I went to Seus, the money counter stops working when you go to the boss. Like, so I don't know how much money I'm going to get at the end. I think, or any of it for the boss actually matters. He's vulnerable only at like certain openings. Okay, maybe I want to do Jawler here. There you go. Uh. If I remember, yeah, I remember correctly, the shield comes down occasionally. You gotta just wait for it. Maybe you just always shoot at it. Yeah, there we go. You just kind of just do a perpetual shoot. And then, when the shield comes down, he takes damage. And it just happens at these random times. Well, he's really easy to dodge. Those things don't move very fast. And unlike the DS version, you don't have like an ammo clip thing. You have like a limited ammo thing going on. So you don't have to worry about like running out of ammo. Okay, so like those Vizorak back there are kind of unnerving. Whoa. Let's flight fast spin. Ooh. You just kind of came up out of nowhere. And you blocked me during when he was at an opening. That's not nice. Okay. Oh, there's more Vizorak coming at me. My health is full now. Vizorak blocking my smart shooting. Go vacuum the floor where you belong. enough to him. Oh, goodness. Switch to Kongu. A health. Okay. Respect Kongu. Why I shoot you. Health. This boss is giving me trouble, actually. It's giving me like serious trouble. Oh, phooey. I took a took a took a spinner. 
You'd think eventually the Visa Rock would stop coming. Alright, that would be part of the whole thing. Oh, come on. Still missed the gap. Oh, there's... I watch the scope. Oh, there's Visa Rock close by again. Switch to Kongu. Just in case I die, don't lose Jawler. I mean, they said this game with e was easy, but if I have, if he has unlimited Vizarak, there's un unlimited supplemental Vizarak, that makes it hard. Where they don't like stop, where you can't like get them all. They just keep, there's just more and more of them. Yeah, that makes it hard. Let's switch to Deuce. Try to see if I can Nuperu spam them out there. Okay, that's not... That's just a spider. Like a non visorak spider. Oh, what distracts my Nuperu spamming. Switch to a Toro. Wait, how am I- how do I have four health now? I still have all six toe, but all four health. I don't understand what happened. Oh, there's an opening I missed. Okay. Done. I should have saved that as like a health boost. Just wait for that opening to happen. And then hit him. There, right there. Get him. Does it aim? There's no reticle. Uh.
That gap is so small. the health. Okay, got all the Vizorak. There's no Vizorak left. Oh, more Vizorak spawn. Oh, well, let's keep shooting at this the actual boss here. Oh, his aim is actually really bad. Sometimes. Good. Okay, so I've, it took me a while to learn this. The answer is use Holly, basically. Because she's way more accurate. I can shoot further, has longer distance aim. Now since I learned the trick of using Holly, I'm almost done. Get wrecked. Okay, so that unlocked, um, like, the world of Avak and the world of Thok. I still got to go through Vazok first, though. But, uh... Oops. I went into, like, a level. Yeah, I went to Thok's Mountain. To Thok's Mountain. Let's try to figure out which is not a level. Here we go.
Now, let's just see which places have opened. Nope, locked. 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 Now, we don't have 150 yet, so... Um... Oh, now I can visit the creature chambers. Okay. Back. Um, I don't have 150 yet, so I'm not going to buy anything yet. That's locked. Nothing in this one yet. Resume. It says escape to back out, but escape is like, like really escape. I don't know how I toggle through these. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, this is the one I unlocked. Gurok could find any weakness equipped with the Staff of Disintegration. Okay. Resume. Resume. Okay, it's like a bug. Okay. Then it has like this double input type thing. Okay. I have to construct this from the other side. I'm not going to bother looking at it, though. Let's get out of here. Escape. There we go. Well, I'm going to end this right here. 
on that one level. And then I will Google why potentially you could have a really low frame rate on Monocle Heroes and try to fix that. Then we'll come back for the next level. So let's escape and uh, quit. Yes, I want to quit. And quit. Yes. And stop recording.